Well, if you've got a good subject in the frame, it's well worth exploring it. Good evening and uh, welcome to an episode of Camilla and I. And um, i just come back to uh, local Lanford Lakes and uh, I haven't got much further than I got last time because I've got a great crested grebe with one chick left still in my sights. Uh, it's just amazing. I mean, when you've got a subject in view, it's well worth exploiting the subject you've got in the viewfinder. I mean, you can go off wandering elsewhere, but if you've got a really good image, um, it's well worth just persevering with the one image. So uh, here we are, great crested grebe and chick at Lanford Lakes. Absolutely incredible. Nice simple image with the sun setting and uh, yeah, just marvellous. I just got some absolutely gorgeous golden light on the subject. One thousandth of a second, f5.6 ISO 800. Absolutely beautiful. Incredible. And uh, they're just the other side of these, um, this tree with the leaves falling into the water, just obscuring their view of me. So I'm just able to use the branches of the tree as a frame for the subject and uh, able to shoot between the branches um, so this will give us a nice natural vignette rather than the, uh, the fake lens vignette so uh, yeah very good and um, I've been experimenting with um, depth of field quite a bit because they've just been sitting there for ages now and um, that's what you have to do when you've got a subject in the frame. You just work the scene and uh, see what you can get. I mean, this is lovely. Um, the sun oh, started to set about oh, half an hour ago, and uh, I've got some delightful shots already bit of interaction between the pair. Absolutely superb. Um, but I wanted to get both subjects sharp, so that's the difficult bit. You have to get the depth of field right and the shutter speed and still keep a reasonably low ISO. So uh, been quite successful so far. Been very nice light. But of course also you don't want to blow out those highlights on the Great Crest Degree either. So yeah, I hope I haven't blown them out. And of course you never know until you get home precisely what you've got so uh, yeah hopefully i've got my shot of the week yeah so an absolute marvelous pair great crested grebe parent and child absolutely superb Look at that gorgeous light. Totally natural, that's what we love. Just absolutely perfect. So tranquil. End of the day. I presume the uh, feeding's been done. Oh, 
just to stretch that. Well, you never know what's going to happen. Next, that's why we do this uh, wildlife photography. Just had some of the local gadwall, gadwall ducks. Um, there's a little flock of them around uh, Lanford Lakes. There's about um, a dozen or so. And um, anyway, three just flew in and um, went into that incredible nice light. So I was able to... Uh, zoom in on them and I got a little bit of interaction as they uh, did a little little flight and uh, a little bit of playing so uh, absolutely superb and uh, this was all by the uh, the mother or father great crested grebe have um, left the chick on its own and um, gone off just to uh, I don't know have a break a maternity break <laughs> Don't know. Anyway, um, so it's left the great crested grebe chick on its own in the uh, lily pads. So uh, yeah, superb. Just look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Amazing. Anyway, it's now tweeting a bit, wanting its parents back. I'm surprised. I don't know if they split up the parenting duties, but um, there were four chicks and two adults, and there's only one chick and one adult tonight. Um, anyway, just caught a fish for the young adult. So, absolutely superb. I just got a picture of that. Well, I got a bit of video. I got mixed up whether I was videoing or photographing, um, so uh, I messed it up a bit. A shame really but I did get it delivering the fish so yeah nice Ooh. gorgeous light absolutely light to die for so clear it's rained an awful lot recently and it's well worth getting out when you've had a fair bit of rain or even in between rain showers absolutely brilliant time to get out because the diffraction all over the lake, normally you've got flies, heat haze, everything else. But tonight, absolutely crystal clear. Ooh. So I don't know if you can see how close we are to the subject but we're just the other side of those branches and we're shooting through the bottom middle section just to give us a clear frame absolutely gorgeous what a great spot to stop and fish at oh don't you just love it well, the adult is affording some lovely views and some lovely shots. Just going past behind me. And uh, fishing just behind me now. For the chick. Absolutely brilliant. Well, let's hope pops up with another fish. Another opportunity to get a great crest of grebe shot with a fish in its mouth. Let's see if we can go. Well, I can't see what's happened. Great crested grebe's the other side of the lake now, but uh, the little chick, I can't see that at all. It must be around here somewhere. Don't think it's moved that far. Anyway, what a day. Started the day earlier than today in uh, God's Hill in the New Forest.
uh, on the hunt for a cuckoo. I heard it all right, but um, I forgot to take my trolley. I thought it was in the boot and it wasn't. So I couldn't really trolley anywhere. So I didn't actually catch up with the cuckoo. So I heard probably two, I should think. But um, anyway, never caught up with the cuckoo. I did startle a deer though, linked to one startled deer. Startled me as much as it startled the deer actually. But um, anyway, and then uh, of course when I got back to the car park, somebody said, oh, there's a whole flock of deer just off the road up there to the left. So uh, anyway, needless to say, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I went and uh, photographed this whole flock of um, fallow deer and um, yeah whole flock <laughs> whole whole herd of fallow deer and um, yeah that was, that was quite a good uh, thing so linked to some footage of some fallow deer and a few shots um, I mean they were ooh, 400 yards from the road but um, with the 600 millimeter on we were right in amongst the action it was fine and um, the idea there is you sort of pick off various, just like a flock of birds, you pick off the edges of the herd and try and get a little bit of interaction and um, little bits of interest. And um, yeah, it made a, um, a lovely little session. And um, while I was photographing the, uh, the herd, also some starlings came in close in the field beneath me so i was able to get a bit of footage of um the starling feeding its chick or young adult now and um yeah that was quite good footage so it's been a, a feeding spectacular on uh, camilla and i today um they get a sort of beak full of worms and then take them back to the old young starling and that was that was very nice as well so some good action and then I was just coming away and a buzzard was attacked by a crow. I presume it's the usual crow. Anyway, um, yeah, linked to uh, a shot of a attack of a buzzard being attacked by a crow. And then, of course, it was spooked and it flew right over my head. So I had a 50 megapixel picture of a uh, buzzard right overhead probably the closest overhead encounter I've had so uh, yeah an interesting shot linked to the uh, best of the bunch of those mm. so yeah it's been a great day um, still don't know what my shot of the week would be I did uh, the startled deer was quite good um, so, but um, no I think it's got to be tonight my shot of the week will be the great crested grebe and chick tonight i've got to pick one of those photos because it was awesome light and uh, great conditions beautifully clear a lovely scene either mother or father and son or daughter <laughs> but a great crested grebe chick with parent feeding Oh, awesome. Well, I think the great crested grebe adult is going to come back in now. Um, come back across the lake. Seems to be coming this way. So uh, we'll see what we can get. Oh yeah, definitely heading this way, so, uh, yeah. Amazing. Can't come as close as it did last time. Oh, surely not. Can't be that lucky. Right, let's just check the settings. Let's see what we're at. Mm -hmm. So we're set. One five hundredth of a second. Single spot. Mm. 
No exposure compensation. The sun's definitely gone down now. Well, gone down low enough not to be a problem. Okay. It's coming on down. No sign of a fish, unfortunately. Just waiting to see the light. Just a glint of light on the bird. Worth a shot. Into the sunlight on the head. Nice. Just level up. Okay, hopefully she's going back to the chick. I can't see the chick at all. Yeah, it did go a lot wider that time. Saw me. Still some great light. This is why we use auto ISO. Gone through a whole gamut of uh, range of uh, lights and darks there. Incredible. Yeah, just about out of range. Amazing. Yeah, I took the wide angle then. Obviously noticed there was somebody lying down here. Okay, brilliant. Take a bit of video. Amazing golden yellow. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, parents uh, gone to meet the uh, chick. No fish. No fish though. Shame. Yeah, just meeting up again. Lovely. Now they've got a bit bright, so turn it down a bit. Yeah, so they've reunited again. Quite happy. Leave this chick alone. It's a big one by now. And it's pretty big. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I think we'll say goodnight. To the great crest of Greaves, anyway. And um, yeah, good night. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks to the uh, oh, 880 subscribers so far on Camilla and I. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and um, a comment in the comments below. Always welcome to hear what people want to see. And, uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Don't forget, have a good one. Just get out there. Bye from Camilla and I. <laughs>